One of the coolest races Pacers running store owner completes solo marathon to continue his sub three hour streak. The streak was over. Pacers running store owner Chris Farley was convinced of it. Since 1999, Farley had run a marathon or the distance of 26.2 miles in under three hours, but when he crossed the finish line on a windy morning at the Philadelphia Marathon on November 19, his watch flashed back an unfamiliar number, 3.01 and 4 seconds. I didn't do it, Farley immediately texted his wife. Olympian and Georgetown University running director Julie Culley. So disappointed. As word spread of Farley's time, Coley and Farley's friends at Pacers began to brainstorm. There was still more than a month to go, they reasoned. Plus, the store organizes races nearly every weekend, so why not host another one, just for Farley? A little past 1 p.m. on Friday, Farley crossed another finish line. But this time, he was well under three hours, having completed a U.S. track and field certified marathon course at Haynes Point in 2.52 and 53 seconds in front of several dozen friends and family members. The streak lives on. I can't believe how good I felt, Farley said while still catching his breath after breaking the tape. I never really hit a wall because I kept seeing new people show up, new people jump in, to pace. It was one of the coolest races I've ever done. Competitive running has been a part of Farley's life since his days on the cross-country and track teams at Yorktown High. Born and raised in Arlington, the 41-year-old also ran at the University of Virginia and eventually bought the Pacers running stores with his parents in 2003 after an unfulfilling stint as a junior computer programmer for the Justice Department. Eight years later, Farley became the sole owner of the popular Washington-area running stores and has been a fixture in the local running community. He also co-hosts a podcast, Pace the Nation, with store manager Joanna Russo and Tim Marriott, a college teammate who goes by William E. Docks on the show. A handful of podcast listeners showed up Friday in the below-freezing temperature to show their support. Mark Naylor, a 34-year-old Dannedale resident took off from work to be one of the dozen or so runners who paced Farley through the 3.45-mile loops around Haynes Point. A regular Pacers customer and podcast listener, Naylor said he did not know Farley personally but was inspired by his streak. Congratulations to at Run Pacer on his hash-breaking three attempt today to keep a 19-year streak alive. 2 colon 52 colon 53 hash for every rune colon slash slash t dot co slash 9 fkbel pick dot twitter dot com slash fqxb odds qk8 pacers running at run pacers december 29 2017 i think the story of somebody trying to keep up a tradition a goal over so many years i think that appeals to a lot of us who have been running for a while said Naylor who finished the Richmond Marathon last month in 3.07 and 34 seconds. And as we get older, we get slower and we want to hold on to something. If this were me in his position, I'd love if people were out supporting me, and so I wanted to come out and support him. Along the course were several Pacers employees, holding up life-size cutouts and wearing t-shirts emblazoned with a cartoon animation of Farley created specifically for the event which was dubbed Breaking 3, a play off of Nike's Breaking 2 event from earlier this year. Coincidentally, I was a guest on Pace the Nation back in December 2016 to talk about the Nike project. The race, which had only one official finisher, Farley, also had an official timing system and results page. We like to say here, if we're not overdoing it, what's the use of doing it? So we decided to pull it together. Pacers chief executive Kathy Dalby said. This is not unusual for us to do things like this. Farley felt jittery as the race began and hit the 5k mark minutes faster than planned. What are those boys doing? Cully asked as the splits popped up on her phone. She had witnessed how disappointed Farley was after the Philadelphia race and could not bear to see him just miss again. Marriott got in his car and told the Pacers to slow down and eventually Farley got into a groove, nearly hitting each mark at the same pace to average 6.36 per mile. With about 10 minutes to go, it was clear Farley would make it well under three hours. His pacers flanked him on each side. 
and as he turned the final corner onto Ohio Drive, he triumphantly raised both arms in the air. Cully broke out into a smile and cheered on each remaining step. He's the person in my life when every time I'm down, he helps me turn it around, she said a week before the race. For him to be down, I had to be that person for him. I always want to be that person for him for the few moments he has self-doubt. I have to be that rock for him. I knew we had enough time. When he commits to something, he's inspiring to be around. He's relentless. For Farley's 20th anniversary of the streak next year, the couple had planned to fly to Hawaii for the Honolulu Marathon. The trip is back on. Read more, a sub-two-hour marathon, once seen as impossible, could happen much sooner than experts thought Rick Nielis, for 25 years. The person behind the People's Marathon veteran who lost both legs completes 31 marathons in 31 days, runners trailing 